Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam, and today in this video, we're going to talk about trim versus sub trim. I know this can be a very confusing topic if you're just getting into RC stuff, so I'm going to hopefully explain it for you so you can better understand it and utilize it right now. First, let's talk about trim. Now, trim is basically a temporary adjustment that you can make to your flight controls. So for example, probably the most common use for trim is to get an airplane to fly level at a certain speed, certain power setting of the motor. So that way you can keep the power setting just how you like it for the right speed and then keep the nose from going up or down by adjusting the trim on your elevator. And so the trim is just going to make small changes in the elevator and it will hold that position until you move the trim button in the opposite direction. The idea behind this is basically that you don't have to keep holding back the elevator stick on your transmitter and you could basically fly hands off if you have your airplane or quadcopter well trimmed out. Speaking of quadcopters, you really don't want to use trim in your radio for quadcopters. Now I know I mean, I've had to do it sometimes, but it's really not ideal. You, you want to have everything set up on your flight controller so that your quadcopter flies well, uh, regardless of the trim settings in your radio. But I know sometimes you have to do it, and sometimes it's just an easy, quick fix that you can do. So this does apply to quadcopters, but it's not as common. Trim can be adjusted using these buttons below or to the side of the sticks on the transmitter and that way they're readily accessible in flight. Now let's talk about sub trim. Sub trim is basically the same idea as trim except you actually adjust it in the settings of your transmitter. So it's a little bit more of a permanent type of trim. For example, if you're trying to straighten out a control surface and you don't want to have to use the trim button, then you would want to use sub trim and it's basically just going to work in the background like trim and the only way to actually change it is to go into the settings in your transmitter. And the reason why that's useful is because that may be the easiest way to make an adjustment to your flight control because you might have to either uh, undo a control horn or maybe change something with the actual servo and that may be time consuming or maybe just impossible depending on how you've built the airplane. And again, for quadcopters, sub trim works just the same way. If your quadcopter is slightly, maybe constantly yawing, that's a pretty common one, you might want to put some sub trim in the opposite direction if you can't fix it in beta flight or your flight controller configurator. It's definitely not my first choice, but it is an option. Now I'll demonstrate how to use trim and sub trim using this back half of a uh, old airplane. Now, let's get in our radio right here and we'll turn it on. And we're already bound up to the receiver here. Let me put some power to it to get this servo working. All right, there we go. So now it's working and you can see that this, this is gonna be our rudder. So we'll, we'll work with the rudder today. So first of all, you can see that we're not quite lined up. There's a gap kind of between the vertical stabilizer and the actual rudder right there. So if we wanted to adjust that, you can see, yeah, there's a gap right there. If we wanted to adjust that, we could use trim right here. So we push this button this direction, push that button like that, and it's going to beep. And it's, you see, it's going to move. Now that's, that's as, as much left rudder trim as I can put in here. And so you can see now that now the rudder has moved to the left quite a bit. So let's say I want to move it back and get it actually centered. I would go back in the other direction until it's right about center. You know, you can kind of play with it, but you get the idea. And then we can kind of put the straight edge against here and it is better, it's better. So the idea here is that it's basically a quick way of adjusting the uh, making small adjustments to the flight controls. I'm pretty satisfied with this being the as straight as the rudder is going to get. So let me make a mark right in the center. So that'll be our center line. And let's go ahead and move all the way full deflection in both directions. It's going to be something like that. And then on the other side, right about there. 
So you can see we can go all the way from here to here and then that's our center. So now that we can see that, let's just see how far we can actually move this just using the trim button. So let's go full left. So you can see not very much, maybe a quarter, maybe a quarter of the way or less. Now a thing to know is, is that when you use trim in one direction, you're kind of sacrificing movement in the other direction. So for example, full left right now does not quite reach as far as it should. So if I, if I move the stick to, all the way to the left and then I uh, move the trim back to center, you can see it's actually moving. It's moving back to where it should be, which is full deflection, which is like a lot of throw. That's what they call throw, the distance that, it, uh, that the control surface moves is the throw. And that's a lot of throw right there. Now we'll use the sub trim. So we'll turn on our radio. We will press and hold can uh, press and hold OK to go into the menu. Scroll over to Function Setup. Press OK. Scroll down to Sub Trim. And by the way, this is for the FSI6, and it works just the same in the i6X transmitter. Now you see here we have all our different channels, and we have Channel One, which is the channel that we're on for our rudder. Um, Normally it wouldn't necessarily be, but that's what we have it on right now. And so you can see that we're centered, but if we use the up and down keys, we can change the position of this, and you can see that our rudder is moving. And you see see how it's moving a very, very small amount for how much, for how much input we're, we're giving it. So basically we have much more fine adjustments right here. And we can, uh, we can really dial in the angle that we want on the rudder. So let's roll it back so that it's straight. So I'm just going to continue holding down the button as this little dot, this little arrow moves across the screen right there. So you can see we're a little bit left right there of, from the center position. So let's check and see kind of how straight the rudder is. That's pretty good. We still have a, actually a little bit of a gap. So let's just keep going in that direction. Keep going, try it again. That's, that's pretty good right there. That's pretty darn straight. So maybe we want this to be perfectly straight, just like that. So then we could press and hold cancel to save it, which is weird, I know, but that's how it is. And then just press cancel to get to the main menu. So now we're centered. Now we can actually fly straight just by having our, our main trim button in the centered position, which is nice because then, you know, it's easy to bump these or, or kind of adjust them. Um, they're not really locked in place. So it's better to make adjustments that you need to really have be kind of permanent. It's better to do that with sub trim. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope this was helpful to you. I know it can be kind of confusing all this trim and sub trim and different radio functions as a beginner RC enthusiast. If you like this video, consider subscribing to this channel. And if you have any other types of issues with your FlySky transmitter, be it the i6 or the i6X, don't hesitate to leave me a comment and I or someone else may be able to help you. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic, fabulous day.